Hello and welcome to HITC Sport. Right, today we're talking trophies. The Premier League is players who've won it all. World Cup winners, European Championship winners, Champions League winners. The only thing some players are missing is a golden ticket to Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. But I want to find out today is what is the most obscure trophy one of your players has won. Let's go. Arsenal said Klasenac Kieran Cup. Arsenal have got some big trophy winners in their ranks, but well, that's mainly from time spent away from the Emirates. Thomas Partey arrives as a Europa League winner, while they've got Mesut Ozil and the squad around Mustafi who can't get a game despite winning a sodden World Cup in 2014 with Germany. On top of that, you've got Kieran Tierney who's won it all with Celtic, which is like winning a one-person egg and spoon race. But the most obscure trophy I could find was the Curran Cup, which Seat Kalasinac won with Bosnia-Herzegovina. The Curran Cup seems to be this random four-team tournament that hasn't actually happened since 2016, with Japan acting as the host nation every time. Teams were invited to compete, but like weird teams, in 1991 you had Tottenham in it, then the year after there was Wales. But either way, Ozil's bodyguard Kalasnach won it in 2016, an honour he's probably forgot all about. Aston Villa, Trezeguet, African Champions League Aye, uh, Villa have got a Champions League winner in their ranks. Okay, it's the African one, not the European one, but still. It's like telling your mates you're going for a pint with one of the Nevilles, then revealing it's Phil, not Gary. But Trezeguet is actually a two-time African Champions League winner, winning it back-to-back -back in 2012 and then 2013 for Al Ali. Brighton, Adam Alana, Football League Trophy The Brighton players haven't actually got a lot of trophies between them. Some of the players haven't even touched a medal. The biggest honour they've won is a pat on the back from the wife for not forgetting to do the dishes. Adam Alana's arrival increased the trophy quarter though, with the former Liverpool midfielder no doubt arriving at the Amex with his Premier League and Champions League medals in hand. But one trophy I bet he doesn't go on about is the Football League trophy that he won with Southampton back in 2010, back when they were a League One club. It shows how far Southampton have come, winning a trophy 10 years ago that is now sponsored by Papa Bloody Johns. I mean, what's next, the KFC Hot Wings filled with Gravy Cup? Burnley, Eric Peters, the Under-21 European Championship. I mean, it was this or Charlie Taylor winning the League Two playoffs for Fleetwood. But way back in 2007, Eric Peters was just 18 years old and got selected for the Netherlands under-21 squad for the Euros and he would end up playing in the final, being Serbia 4-1. Winning a youth tournament, you'd think this Dutch team would include stars that have dominated the European game ever since. But no, Eric Peters' teammates included Ryan Babbel and Royston Drenthe and that was about as good as it got. Chelsea, Eduard Mendy, League 2 title. This trophy isn't too obscure, but it just sums up what an incredible rise Eduard Mendy's had. In the summer of 2018, the goalkeeper was tossing winning the League 2 title with Ream. Two years later, he signed for a Champions League club and has replaced the most expensive goalkeeper in the world as Chelsea's number one. Crystal Palace, MacArthur and McCarthy, the Scottish First Division. These two are inseparable, except for when McCarthy brought the double act up to head for the bright lights of Everton. It's like when Robbie left, take that. But now the band's back together, with MacArthur and McCarthy reunited at Selhurst Park, making this the third time they've played together. It was at Hamilton where it all began, and the duo helped the Aggies win the second tier of Scottish football back in 2008. Everton, Robin Olsen, Division 5, Scanner, Sidvastra, A title. You're excused for not knowing what this is, I didn't know what it was until I did the research. I bet when Olsen told Ancelotti about it, he probably thought the new goalkeeper had some sort of fungal disease. But no, the Division 5, Scanner, Sidvastra, A is the seventh tier of Swedish football, and Robin Olsen got his hands on it in 2010 when he was playing for the Bunkeflo FF at the age of 20. Forget about James Rodriguez and the honours he's won all over Europe for the likes of Real and Bayern, this is the one trophy that's eluded him, and that's why Robin Olsen will always be considered better. Fulham, Dennis Adoy Fulham have actually got some huge trophy winners in their ranks. Alphonse Areola is a World Cup winner, even though he didn't play. Mario Laminas won Serie A with Juventus. Alexander Mitrovic, when he was at Newcastle, he won the flop your arms and elbows someone in the head invitational. He won that twice, actually. Oh, and the championship title, forgot about that. But the most obscure trophy in the Fulham ranks is the Belgian Cup that Dennis Adoy picked up at Lockerin back in 2014. That was actually the last time Lockerin won a trophy, which is interesting if you're from Belgium, I guess, which about two of you probably are, and even then you can't understand a word I'm saying, let's move on. Leeds United, Stuart Dallas, the Satanta Sports Cup. Yes, if you go back to the early days of Stuart Dallas's career, he actually won silverware in Ireland, and the one that sticks out was the Satanta Sports Cup in 2012 with Crusaders. I mean, the tournament doesn't even exist anymore, it was abolished in 2014, and who remembers Satanta Sports? What a throwback! Well anyway, Crusaders won it on penalties, with good old Stuart Dallas tucking away his spot kick. Leicester City, Jamie Vardy, the Northern Premier League. 
Just in case you didn't know, Jamie Vardy used to play non-league football. It's not been mentioned much, but it's an important nugget of information. And despite the fact he's now a Premier League winner and one of the top scorers in the history of the division, his first league title actually came back in 2011 for Halifax Town, where he scored 23 goals in 33 games en route to winning the Northern Premier League. Liverpool, James Milner, the Intertoto Cup. Shuri's won Premier Leagues with Liverpool and Man City, he's won the Champions League, the Club World Cup, he's won the lot really at domestic level, but the one trophy that must stick out is the 2006 Intertoto Cup with Newcastle. People talk about the Magpies not winning trophies, they've had two mentions in this video. And what did Newcastle get for winning the elusive Intertoto Cup? A bloody certificate, the kind of thing you give a kid for good attendance at school. Manchester City, Sergio Aguero, Olympic gold medal. Yes, in 2008, the Beijing Olympics, Sergio Aguero won the gold medal for wrestling, and he did it with a broken friggin' neck. Oh, hang on, that was Kurt Angle, and it was a different Olympics. Rubbish, that. Okay, so what really happened was Aguero won a gold medal as part of the Argentina under-23 side at the Beijing Games, beating Nigeria 1-0 in the final. I mean, it's no wonder they won. They had Aguero, Messi, Di Maria, Raquel May, Romero, Gago, Mascherano, Zabaleta. It was just a who's who of Argentinian talent. Meanwhile, silver medalist Nigeria had car park enthusiast Peter Adam Wingi. Manchester United, Odin Ogalo, Chinese FA Cup. I mean, it's still baffling that Odin Ogalo is a Manchester United player, but he is, and he's also a Chinese FA Cup winner. He got his hands on the trophy in 2019, with his side Shanghai Shenhua beating Shandong Luneng over two legs in the final. As I say, it was a two-legged affair, and Ogalo started a grand total of zero games. But whatever, he got a medal, and it's got to be better than staying at Watford and being on the end of that 6-0 hammering from City at Wembley. Newcastle United, Jeff Hendrick, the Derbyshire Senior Cup. Ah, you can forget all about Callum Wilson and his goals. Newcastle's big signing this summer was Jeff Hendrick, as he's a former Derbyshire Senior Cup winner. He got the honour back in 2011, when a Derby County eleven entered the non-league tournament. And as expected, they romped it. I mean, it was basically cheating. But whatever, Jeff Hendrick's probably not arse. It's the only trophy he's ever won. And that's not going to change in Newcastle. Unless they enter in a Pete Wick look like competition. Sheffield United, Jack Rodwell, the Premier League. This isn't an obscure trophy, but the recipient is. And the fact he's still playing, in inverted commas, in the Premier League is laughable. I mean, he contributed to that City title win about as much as he contributed to Sheffield United's incredible season last year. Southampton, Shane Long, the Nations Cup. I mean, I didn't even know this was a thing, but in 2011, the Republic of Ireland, Northern Ireland, Wales and Scotland all competed in the Carling Nations Cup, a competition designed to decide who was the best home nation that wasn't called England. The Republic of Ireland won it, winning all three of their games without conceding a goal, with Southampton forwards Shane Long making one appearance off the bench. The tournament was over quicker than it began, with no second Carling Nations Cup taking place due to bad attendance. Tottenham, Son Hyung min the Asian Games. Ok, so in South Korea you have to do military service no matter who you are. Even though Son heung min was a top Premier League player, he wouldn't be exempt. Unless he helped the South Korean under-23 side win the Asian Games. And in 2018, that's exactly what Son did. The forward set up both goals to beat Japan in the final, earning him and all of his teammates exemption from the mandatory military service that had been coming their way. West Brom, Branislav Ivanovic, the Champions League. Ok, I know this isn't an obscure trophy, but there aren't a lot of honours in this West Brom squad, I mean they can barely win a match never mind a trophy. And it's mad really that at 36, Ivanovic is back in the Premier League, meaning West Brom have a Champions League winner in their ranks. Ok, he didn't play in the final due to suspension, a dream that Jeff Shreve shattered at him live on Sky Sports straight after the game, but whatever, he's still got to touch the trophy. West Ham, David Martin, the Premier Reserve League. In 2008, David Martin won the Premier Reserve League title for Liverpool. Is it just me or did anyone else completely miss the fact that the current West Ham number 3 used to play for the current Premier League champions? Wolves, Raul Jimenez, the Olympic gold medal. We end with a second gold medal, but this one was for Mexico at London 2012. And the big shot was that Jimenez and Mexico actually beat Brazil, a Brazil side that included Marcelo, Lucas Moura, Thiago Silva and Neymar. So no gold medal for Neymar, who probably should have joined the Brazilian diving team instead. Ok, so that's the most obscure trophy won by your club's player. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. As always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to HITC Sport. And until next time, we will see you around.